David, did uh, two laps of the concentration cost us tonight, do you think? It did. Um, not only that, we spoke to the players before the game um, and we told them exactly what we're going to uh, expect from Spalding. Um, they're going to get in your face, they're going to get tight, they're going to land on second balls, they're going to turn it in behind and they're relentless with it. They play for set pieces, they've got long, they're a long throw and that's pretty much how they played last year. We've had them watched three times, uh, twice in pre-season and once in the league and they haven't changed the way they play and we, and we spoke to the players before and we told them exactly what Spalding were all about and I said to them, they're going to try and stop us playing and what we need to do is we need to earn the right to play because no team's just going to lay down and let you play. Um, and in fairness to Spalding, um, they've done everything we knew they were going to do. Um, you know, we, didn't, we weren't surprised by anything that they did, but it was frustrating that it took us an hour to, to, to kick into gear, really. Um, and if you give teams two goal head start after an hour, you're going to find it difficult to get something from the game. But to be fair to the players, I said to them at half time, I said, look, I need a reaction out of you. I said, um, we need more. Um, we knew they were going to try and stop us playing. I need more tempo, more energy. Um, and to be fair to the lads, last half an hour, 25 minutes, we pinned them back in their half. And, you know, I can't really remember Baz making a save in the second half, to be honest with you. Um, and, you know, Jamie Anton's missed an open goal at the end um, to make it two. All. So, you know, we could have nicked a, nicked a draw at the end, which, on the, on, the, on the grand scheme of the game, if I'm honest, probably didn't deserve it. Um, but we could have nicked a draw at the end. And, and it's, it's a game we learn from. And that's what I've just said to the players in there. We need to learn from it because we can't just turn up and expect teams to roll over and let us play. Um, you have to go and earn the right and it, it's been a learning curve for us and, and we move on. Two really key points um, at the start of the second half. The first one was the second goal after two minutes and then Jack misses the header, which I think was a really good save, which was really important as well, I think. Yeah, it was. It, it, goals change games and, and uh, I know it's a cliche, but... It's true, you, you know, you can have all the possession, you can attack, you can have chances. But if you don't put the ball in the back of the net, football's a cruel game and has a habit of, of kicking you when you're down. And, you know, they go up the other end and score. We, you know, we miss a header, Jack misses a header, they go up the other end and score and it's 2-0. And, and you think, well, if it had gone in that end at 1-0, uh, and we always seem to finish games strong. Um, that's what we've done all, all pre-season. And we said, we've had to hold him watch. We knew they were going to tire in their last half an hour, 25 minutes. And our fitness levels are good. Um, so the game plan was, was stay in the game for an hour and then when the game opens up a little bit and the energy and the, and the pace we've got in the side, we can get the ball down and play because the game's stretched and we can go and hurt them. But we found ourselves 2 down after an hour and you can't give teams two goals head start. Do you think uh, Bastock is probably one of the best bits of business you've probably done this summer? He's been invaluable so far, isn't he? He's and been, unlucky with the penalty. Yeah, he's been superb. Um, frustrated with the penalty because... I didn't think it was a penalty. The ball's hit Trains' foot and it's, the, it's bounced up and hit his hand. It's not handball. For a ref to give a decision like that, he has to be 100% sure it's handball. And it wasn't, it wasn't handball. It was, it was ball to hand. Um, and Baz makes a great save. And what's frustrating is on this side of the box, we've got three or four Corby Town players, one Spalding player. He's reacted, followed it in and tapped it in, um, which is frustrating. But no, back to, back to what you said about, about Baz. He's been superb for us. Um, and he's going, to be, he's going to be a big part of what we're trying to do this year. And you know, he's, he's got all the experience in the world and he's still got the hunger and desire to want to play. So, so no, he's been fantastic. Carrying any injuries after tonight or is um, everyone coming Steve, Steve Kinnenberg's came off with um, a tight quad, so we'll have to assess that on, on, on tomorrow and Thursday um, at training and see how he is. Hopefully he'll be all right for the weekend, but um, took him off, off as a precaution really. But fingers crossed he's all right. Other than that, um, one or two knocks and bruises, but... No, no injuries to, to, to mention. No. OK, David, thanks a lot. Cheers, mate.